His voice was so gentle and soft, unlike his hard dick. Who says that? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Camp Buddy. Last time I left you off right here, um, as we went inside the waterfall with Taiga to have this probably heartwarming, perhaps um, sexually warming moment with him. And, um, have we heard this music before? I don't... I don't feel like... I feel like this is new music. I might be crazy. I mean, it's been a while since I've played Camp Buddy. So maybe this isn't new. But, um, some of you also asked why I... have not been using my face cam lately. I just have not been feeling very well. Um... But, um, it'll be back soon, probably. But, um, let's just get started. Um... Taiga, I wanted to thank you. Oh yeah, and some of you asked what I was eating last episode. That'll just be our little secret, okay? Thanks. For what? My camera. I was able to get it back. Sir Aiden told me how you went and got it for me. It... it was the least I could do. S sorry it got broken. I know how special that camera is to you. Uh, don't worry. Sir Aiden told me he could fix it. It was my fault in the first place. If I hadn't caused a scene a while ago... I don't think it's completely your fault, though. Scoutmaster Yoshi has been testing your patience since we got to the beach. So you noticed that, huh? Yeah. Whenever he tries to mention anything from last year, you get upset. Taiga still doesn't seem to want to open up. I need to see if I can help him get past this. How? <laughs> well, will sticking your your, your your little pee pee in his mouth help him get past this? Um. Tell me what makes you so upset. How about why are you angry? Well, I don't know. No, the first one. That. Well, I don't really know much about what happened Ooh, then. Ooh, you got a little angry. I only know what everyone else has told me. He, he, his expression got a little bit angrier. Ugh, God. I just need to look at his feet and calm down. I'm sure they've <laughs> already told you that everything was my fault and that I was some kind of monster. Uh, that's not true, Taiga. None of them said anything like that. I've always known there's more to the story. And I know I haven't heard your side, so I'm sure that you can explain everything. <laughs> he sounded a little bit condescending at the end of that sentence. Am I crazy or something? And no matter what anyone tells me, it wouldn't change the way I see you. Taiga, I need to know. <sighs> you, you're right. It's about time I tell you everything. When I first joined Camp Buddy last year, I was so happy. I met a lot of new people, learned a lot of cool things, and I got to have fun with everyone. But then, everything just fell apart. All thanks to that stupid sports fest. I was blamed for something I didn't do. I had to defend myself and the friends who tried to protect me. Then everyone saw it so differently. I didn't want to hurt anyone. Everyone was so convinced I was the bad guy. And everyone hated me. That's why I tried so hard to prove to everyone I wasn't like that. But all my efforts weren't enough. It just got worse every day. When I was about to give up, Yoshinori and the friends I had left raised me up. And that's when I realized that I wanted to be here more than anything else. I begged Scoutmaster Yoshi to let me join again this year, hoping things would turn out differently for me this time. Wow, and you really went in with a terrible attitude, huh? <laughs> and you acted really awful to people that you didn't even know? Okay, sure, yeah, I'm, I'm not falling for this sob story. <laughs> That's why I don't get why he always brings it back up. He knows how it makes me feel. Taika... I... I feel like I owe you an explanation, too, 
Kato out. Y you think? Why did you terrorize me at the start if you really wanted to be in Camp Buddy? So, I don't know. W what for? The reason I hated you so much when you joined camp. I came back here to try and redeem myself. And to see you winning over everyone here at camp, it made me so bitter. I, I didn't know. I'm really sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. It was my own insecurity that pushed me to do those mean things to you. I wanted to get rid of you so bad that I forgot why I wanted to come back here in the first place. But it seems like nobody, not even Yoshinori, has any faith in me anymore. It's as if I had no chance of ever redeeming myself. Now, instead Oops. of trying to understand me, he kept trying to force me to change. And now he's probably given up on me. Didn't mean to skip that, sorry. Everyone's given up on me. I haven't. Mmm, have you reconsidered? Or maybe you should reconsider, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I never lost faith in you, Taiga. That's why I'm here with you now. I know I've said this before, but... I know you have good inside of you. And you can't deny how much you've changed for the better since we've been together. Can we, like, get inside of him to see the good? I... I'm just asking. Whatever happened in the past, I'll always believe in you, Taiga. I want you to know that I'll stay by your side and prove to everyone how far you've come. Uh, I was wrong about you this whole time. I just wanted everyone to accept me like they did before I screwed up. And you did that the moment you met me. Even now, you still accept me for who I am. After everything I've done to you. <sighs> I'm so stupid. I can't believe I treated you so badly for things you had nothing to do with. I already forgave you for everything, Taiga. And I don't blame you for anything either. I probably would have done the same if I went through the same thing you did. You've already gone through so much. You don't need to be so hard on yourself. Um, I mean, I don't know about that. Because, again, he just, he says he wanted to change everything, but still, he came into camp this year just acting like a total, a total jerk. Katero. He has something to be sorry for. Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm kind of glad my camera fell earlier. Wh what Why? Well, if it didn't happen, I wouldn't know you'd go so far for me. And I wouldn't be sitting here talking with you. You don't know how happy I am to be here with you and get this chance to know you better. Uh, I guess I could say the same. You know what, Taiga? I just thought of something. Uh, Remember that story about oh. this place making people closer? Maybe it was true after all. Yeah, so maybe we need to get a little bit closer. And in the story, they weren't wearing clothes either, so I think you know what that means we need to do, Taiga. <laughs> Don't be stupid. You know they just made that up. No, I think it's based on Yoshinori and Eden. <laughs> maybe in the Yoshinori route we'll get into it. But isn't it kind of crazy that there's a hot spring here? Who knows? It might be magical too. <laughs> I knew you were dumb, but not that dumb. <laughs> you always know what to say to cheer things up, you dummy. Well, I was trying to make you smile. It suits you much better. Well, it worked. I'll give you that. Taiga seems relaxed and peaceful now. It seems like I was finally able to get through to him. Being by his side like this, I can't help but want this moment to last forever. <sighs> it's starting to get a little chilly in here, huh? Here, Taiga. Hold my hand. Oh, will that keep you guys warm? I mean, maybe if you, you held his penis in your anus, that would really keep you guys warm, but I don't know. 
Suddenly, I could feel Taiga's hand trembling under my palm. You're shaking, Taiga. Are you really that cold? N no I I'm just nervous. N nervous? About what? I... I don't know how to explain it. And I'm not sure if this is right. I don't even know when I started feeling this way. Just let the gay out. But there's one thing I know for sure, Katero. Suddenly, there was total silence. He looked me in the eyes, not saying a single word. I could feel his heartbeat racing fast from his hands. It's as if he was holding something in his chest and it's about to burst. Ooh. Taiga leaned closer to my face and then, boom, his dick was just out right, right in front of me. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Aw, guys, look. Aw. He really went in for that kiss. I mean, we would have rather it have been his D, but we'll take what we can get. All of a sudden, I found Taiga's lips on mine. He didn't even say anything, but I knew exactly what he was trying to tell me as we kissed. I mean, why else do people kiss you? Now everything I've done for the past weeks finally made sense. I used to think I only wanted to help understand Taiga, but I was feeling so much more. As we continued to kiss, we slowly took off each other's clothes, caressing each other intimately. When we started to feel a little cold, Taiga took me by my by the hand, dipping both of our naked bodies into the warm pool beside us. Is it really warm? I, I thought, I mean, you said it was freezing out. I mean, they said it was cold, so why wouldn't the water be freezing? Ooh, wow, guys. I didn't do much. I just sort of laid there, but thanks anyway, Taiga. Taiga leaned forward and gave me a kiss, still consumed in the romance of the moment. Thanks. Oh well, you know the cater, the cater, the cater hole is always open for business, Taiga. <laughs> I didn't say that in his voice, but you know. <laughs> but um, that was a yeah for staying by his side, not for what we just did earlier. Just staying by his side. But um, that was a pretty good SCX scene. Hopefully, you went to Twitter and found it. For, for staying by my side. Tiger. Well. Now oh, look at that cheeky smirk. It honestly feels like a huge weight has been lifted off my chest and my balls. As I was saying. I never talked about my feelings in the past with someone like that before. Oops, I did not mean to do that. And it was you of all people. I can't help but feel stupid that I missed out from the start. Don't ask me! You kept looking past the ugly side of me. I'm sure no one else would be able to see like you did. Taiga. Don't think like that, Taiga. If you can get over your feelings towards me, then I'm sure everyone else can do the same for you. I bet they'll all give you a second chance if you ask for it. I'm the best! You're way too optimistic. I don't think everyone will be able to forgive me easily. You see... I honestly don't know how you believe that they'll even hear me out. Especially after everything I did. Well, after everything, I found out about you today, it just proves that I was right about you from the start. You're a nice guy after all. G don't worry, I'm here for you. And no matter what you... N and no matter what, you know I'll always have your back, Taiga. Fine. Huh. <sighs> I, I get it, I get it. You don't have to keep saying all that cheesy stuff. <laughs> How do you have so much energy tonight? You should be passing out by now. Oh! He was the one doing all the work, though. He just sort of laid there. Oh, yeah. We should probably go back to the campsite before someone thinks we're missing. All right. Let's go. Let's go, Taiga. Katerell. Thank you again, Katero. It was really nice to be able to unload on something warm. Uh, 
Um, whistling. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to whistle. What's up? Morning, Yoshi. I just got started cooking breakfast. How are you feeling today? Aiden. Ah, uh, Aiden. I couldn't sleep much. Uh-oh. Yikes, you're still thinking about yesterday, aren't you? This is my fault. Y yeah It makes me feel like I'm not doing a good job as a scoutmaster. What? <laughs> I mean, you should feel that way. What? What? Of course you are. Are you sure? Are you sure? It feels. I feel like I'm falling, failing with my responsibilities, especially with Taiga. You are. He still has the same hatred from last year. Oh come on! Come on, Yoshi. He can't let go of the past unless you do too. So you got to stop thinking like that. What matters is that you do the. Is what matters is what you do right now to recover from it. Why can't I speak today? Wow. And besides, I know you're trying your hardest for the scouts and doing what you think is best. You can do it! You'll figure out what to do to help Taiga. I'm sure of it. I don't know if I really can. You really think so? Yeah. Yeah, just stay open-minded and everything will turn out fine. Yoshi. Why don't you just concentrate on today's hike for now? You see... If you're still feeling conflicted later, maybe you can ask Gramps for some advice. He'd probably know how to help you. <sighs> You're right. Maybe I should bring this up with him after all. Don't worry. You need to stop trying to carry everything on your back. We're a family here, remember? We help each other out. <laughs> like yesterday, when you needed to relax and I gave you that hand job. <laughs> Kidero said that to me before, too. What? <laughs> That seems wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he sure is something special, huh? I admire how the little dude sticks with Taiga despite everything. Actually... He actually reminds me of how you were back then. Always looking for the best in everyone. Aww. Oh, Aiden, stop it. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's already 6am. I should go wake up all the scouts. We still have a long hike back to camp, buddy. Alright. Right, you go do that. I'll pack up our tents. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me, Aiden. No problem. Taiga! Oh, Taiga, you're awake already. Yeah. Yeah, so are you. Shouldn't you still be passed out? You usually sleep for another hour or so. Well... <laughs> well, I guess I knew that you were already up. Okay. Ah, right. Taiga. He, you look a little bothered. Are you okay? Fine. Yeah, I'm fine. There's just a lot going on in my head right now. Eh? L like what? Um... Just the stuff we talked about last night. Ah. <sighs> I was up all night trying to look back at my actions. I feel like I owe you, everyone, and Scoutmaster Yoshi an apology. Hmm. How about I got your back? Taiga. Like I said last night, I've got your back, Taiga. Y yeah. I know, but I need to show everyone that I've changed on my own, too. Hitero! Don't get me wrong, I appreciate your offer, but I don't want to get you in the middle of the mess I made. Oh! <laughs> oh! I completely understand, Taiga. Well... But I have to admit, I don't even know where to start. Ugh. After the sports fest, the bet, and all the bullying, I'm not sure they'll believe me. I wouldn't believe me either. <sighs> I've been going over what I want to say to them in my head, and it just keeps making me cringe. Take it easy. Relax, Taiga. You don't have to make up to everyone immediately. This kind of thing takes time. Fine. You're right. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh, you've got to be freaking kidding me! That's two days in a row they've messed with my beauty sleep! Indeed. Indeed, my circadian rhythm was per perfect prior to this trip, but these irregular schedules have thrown it in completely out of sync. Move it! It's probably time to head back to the camp. Come on, I'll help you guys get ready. Yas! 
Oh, sure, Taiga. That would be lovely. What? Wait, what? Taiga. Have you received a higher than average amount of sleep, Taiga? This behavior is quite unexpected. Campers. Campers, it's time to... Oh, you're already awake. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. We heard the whistle. Right. Very well, then. Ahem. Well, we'll be hiking back to Camp Buddy soon. And Aiden has prepared a breakfast. Please get ready while I wake up the other scouts. Yes, sir. <sighs> I, I suppose we should be begin packing our belongings, then. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. After we got dressed, we noticed everyone was taking down tents and decided to get started on ours as well. Eventually, after cleaning up the campsite and having a quick breakfast, we were ready to march out. I'll always remember this place and the time I spent here with Taiga. And we made the legend true, guys. I mean, it was already true, but... Lee! We made it extra true. What's up with this intense music? It's always unnecessarily plays during the forest. I feel like something's about to happen, but we're just walking through the forest, you know? I, this music feels too intense for f just walking music. But, um, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Camp Buddy. Bye, guys.